Today you're going to learn about how to retouch your image and then use the clone stamp tool to work some Photoshop magic and make things disappear. All right, enough with the creepy music. First thing I'm going to do is open up my image. I'm going to go to my computer, V drive, because graphic arts is very awesome, smiley face. Speaking of graphic arts, here's the graphic arts folder. And then I'm going to go into class. The class we're working on is GA7. And then I'm going to go to Photoshop. The folder I next want to go to is Disappear. Here is my image. If you do not have access to my network, please feel free to grab an image off the internet. Um, if you are going to use it for publishing, make sure you get permission from the person who took the photo. All right, anyway. I have the image. I'm going to go ahead and right click, copy, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it in my documents. Right click, paste. Uh, I'm going to hit yes. I already have it in there. Um, or you could just go ahead and drag it to my documents. Hit yes, yes, doesn't really matter. It's already in that folder. I'm going to double click on my documents and I'm going to look for that folder I just, or I'm sorry, that JPEG that I just saved and it's called Pumpkin Original. Now that I have it in my documents or my T drive, same thing as your T drive. So you have it from computer to computer in the classroom on the network. I could go ahead and right click, open with, and click on Photoshop. If Photoshop doesn't show up, go to choose program, find the PSE Photoshop elements icon, and click on it. It's blue. All right, so the pumpkin original is going to load up in Photoshop Elements, 7 is what we're using. And when we look at the image, it's going to look kind of bland, kind of like um, eating British food. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and retouch it to make it more livelier. I'm just going to double click right here to, on the bar to make it fit my full screen. Hit Control Plus to zoom in a little bit. Control, hold down Control and hit the plus. The plus is by the backspace in the upper right corner of by your keyboard. So control plus, okay, control minus to zoom back out. Next I'm going to change it so I can liven up the image and retouch it. In Photoshop Elements, you could do this by going to Enhance, Auto Smart Fix, that looks good. Enhance, Auto Levels, good. Enhance, Contrast, Auto Contrast, that didn't really do much, we'll just leave it. Enhance, auto color correction, eh, kind of took away you know, some of the color. So I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo, or you could click this undo button, but you don't wanna go too far back or you're gonna lose your retouching. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to enhance. I did everything, but then I undid the color correction. I'm gonna go to um, auto sharpen. I uh, don't like that that's too sharpened, so I'm going to hit undo, okay, and then I'm going to go to enhance. Um, there's no red eye because we're not working with people here, we're just working with objects such as the pumpkin. And now my image is retouched. The next thing I'm going to do is work with the clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool is a really magical, fun tool to use in Photoshop to make things let's say disappear in this instance. I'm gonna hit S for the stamp tool. And you'll notice it changes to the clone stamp tool. If I hit S again, there's a little pattern icon there and it changes to the pattern stamp tool. So I'm gonna hit S again, I'm in the stamp tool. If I hit S too many times, then it changes to this pattern stamp tool, which goes with this pattern right here and I click it and for some reason, one of my kids a couple years ago called them abs. Um, that's a lot of abs for someone. But um, I'm going to hit Control Z, and we're going to get rid of the abs, or the texture that the pattern stamp tool was putting on, bubbles. And I'm going to hit S again to get to the clone stamp tool. So now I know I'm in the clone stamp tool because those bubbles, or abs, won't show up. I'm going to make my bracket larger by clicking the right, I'm sorry, the brush size larger by clicking the right bracket, and that's diagonal from the backspace in the upper right part of the keyboard, 
If I hit the left bracket, it makes it smaller. And I'm going to click, and oh no! It says I could not use the clone stamp tool because I didn't establish my source point. Alt-click will help you establish your source point. So it needs to know what to copy to put it over. So I'm going to hold the Alt key, and it changes to a targeting system. And I'm going to target an area that I'm going to want to copy over. So I'm holding the Alt key, and I just click once, and I release the Alt key. And you'll notice, now that I click, it starts to make the clone stamp tool. Now there's a couple things that are wrong here. I'm going to hit Control z to undo. My brush is blurry. I don't want a blurry brush because then it looks like not grass. I want a sharpened brush to get that fine edge of the blades of grass. So I'm going to hit this down arrow. I'm going to go with a sharper brush. That's a hard round brush. That's good. All you need to do is hit this down arrow right here. And a hard round brush. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and establish my source point again just to remind myself that I'm establishing my source point. And I'm going to go ahead and click and drag. Now you notice where I established my source point, there's a plus. Okay, that plus is telling me where it's copying from. It just doesn't grab it from thin air. And I'm just kind of making the illusion that that pumpkin was never there. Okay, so there's an illusion. I'm going to hold the Alt key again and reestablish my source point so I can get a very nice job. I want to get blades of grass established. Okay. Alt clicking, you start seeing that it's taking form here. Or should I say, it is getting invisible. Okay, there's a blade of grass. Now you got to be careful because there's a thing called deja vu. Let me show you what that is. I copy this area, it's like a little dark kind of hole area. And I'm just going to go ahead and click. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and establish that area again, another area. But you happen to establish the same area. And yep, it's that same spot. And then I'm going to establish that area again. And it's that same spot. Whoops, Control Z. That didn't really do the effect that I wanted to show you for a mistake that people make. And you'll notice that this deja vu, the same spot, is repeated three times. It's kind of like in Matrix when he sees that cat over and over again. He knows that the Andersons are coming because um, it's kind of a mistake in the computer script. Well, anyway, um, this is a mistake that people make because you'll notice that there's no way that you can make the illusion that this is a um, picture when you have the th three same kind of um, things that form in this grass right next to each other and right here. It's impossible in nature for that uh, to occur. The uh, chances of that are none. So I'm going to hit the undo button and make sure you're establishing places and kind of making sure that you're making the illusion that there's no sense of pattern that you're trying to copy because in nature things can be um, wild and um, not per se copied. However, when we talk about fractals, <laughs> that's another another story. That's like the DNA of nature. All right, um, so I'm copying areas, and we're making that pumpkin disappear. Now it gets a little tricky because there's this path here, and we're gonna wanna make sure we resume that path so we make the illusion that it's there. So I'm just gonna alt click and establish that source point with the target. Now I'm just gonna click, and we're going to go ahead and copy that area. Okay. Alt click. Sometimes less is more. If you find yourself doing too much, that means that you're probably not doing something right. So less is more. One of the other things that I tell people to be aware of is that if you copy too much, you see that plus? It goes into that area. You forgot to establish your source point. So you got to make sure, Control Z, you Alt and click to establish that source point, and then you Alt and click to reestablish that source point again. So you're not running into any issues or deja vu and whatnot. Okay. Um, another issue that people do is they copy like a little area, and then they copy another little area, and they copy another area, and we've got this kind of circular pattern from the brush. You're not getting blades of grass. So you're just clicking little circles. And what I, it's what I call in this area, 
chewed up grass because it looks like it's chewed up grass because you didn't establish enough blades of grass area. So you don't want to do that because the chewed grass makes it look like a cow just came and ate the grass right at that spot and that spot only. And it doesn't look like the illusion that that pumpkin was never there. It looks like it's a doctored fake picture. Now remember when we're working with doctored fake pictures, you want to make sure that you use these tools in a responsible manner. Now I know I teach you the ways of changing things up, but make sure, whoops, I want to get make sure I can maintain that the lighting so that it doesn't look like it's too dark in certain areas because I want to make that illusion. Okay, we're getting there. And finally, there we go. So this illusion, illusion, it makes it look like that pumpkin was never there, okay? Keep establishing that source point. Make sure you make it look like blades of grass. Even I make mistakes where I'm, it's starting to look a little bit like chopped grass, so I'd probably go over it with a little bit, making it look like pieces of grass were there, so it looks a little bit better. Now, I, I wanna fix up probably this area um, a little bit because it looks too dark. There's no shadow anymore because the pumpkin is, is gone, so I'll probably brighten it up with some sunny grass. Um, as well and um, continue working on that um, while you guys are working on it yourselves and um, also if you think that you've got it you know you got the hang of this um, feel free to start getting rid of the other pumpkins after I check you on the first one to make sure that you're um, you're doing the right thing now notice speaking of doing the right thing or should I say the wrong thing I have deja vu here so even I am not perfect even though I like to think so um, so you would just go over some of the spots, whoops, dragged it a little too much there. So um, thinking about making it look like the illusion. So good luck. Um, I'm teaching you the ways of um, making the illusion. Use it responsibly, um, have fun, and um, may the clone be with you. And Clone Wars, uh, yeah. <laughs>